when you come into the media center this year, you're going to notice that we have arranged the chapter books in a different way. Um, we have put them in different categories or genres. Um, the first section you'll see is popular series, and you're going to see things like Dear Dumb Diary, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Big Nate. A lot of the books that you like, the most popular books in the library, are now going to be in this section, and they're all going to have an orange star on them. The next section that you'll see, and this is a genre in literature or a category, and it is horror. Horror are fictional stories which make the reader and the characters feel scared. And these books will have a black label on them. And this is the section that you can find horror books if you like things like goosebumps, ghost stories, books that make you scared. The next section is the fantasy section. And fantasy, those are stories with make-believe elements and characters like magic and fairies. So anything magical like Harry Potter, fairies, um, books like that, those books will be in the fantasy section and all of them will have a purple label. The next genre that we have is historical fiction. Historical fiction are stories that are often based on real events, real people, places, or time periods of history. Um, a lot of you enjoy the Dear America books. That's an example of historical fiction. A lot of you enjoy the American Girl books. Those are also historical fiction. And all of these books will have a green label at the top. The next section, or the next genre, is science fiction. And these are stories that often involve technology and science. A lot of you love the Franny K. Stein books. That's an example of science fiction. Another popular example of science fiction is a lot of the um, superhero type books. That's science fiction. Our next category is graphic novels. And even though that's a small section in the library, it's definitely one of our most popular. And these books are books that are written in comic strip formats. So it looks like a comic book. And they all will have a yellow label at the top. The next section are mysteries. And I think most of us know what a mystery is. A mystery is a story with a problem that doesn't get solved until the end of the story. And it's usually very suspenseful. You're trying to figure out what's going on in the story. We have lots of um, mystery books. They all have blue labels at the top. Things like 39 Clues, A to Z Mysteries. Those are all in the mystery section. And our largest section, and they don't have labels because they're going to be in our general section of chapter books, is realistic fiction. You see, you hear the word real in realistic, and that means it's a story that could happen in real life, but the plot and the characters are actually fictional. They're made up, but they could, it's something that could happen in real life. So realistic fiction is our last genre. And if you don't remember all the different genres, that's okay because you'll see all around the library here, we have um, color keys that will remind you what e how each genre is color coded. The picture books are still found in the same area that they were. And they have an E on the top, which stands for everybody because everybody can enjoy these picture books. Also, you'll notice we now have signs that tell you the letter, the first letter of the author's last name. So if you know the author's last name of a book you want to read, you can easily find it. You can go to the A's, you can go to the B's, you can go to the C's, and so on. We have also 
um, put signs up so that you could easily find some of your favorite books, like your Arthur, Bernstein Bears, Clifford, and Franklin books. I'm going to show you the proper way to get a book off of the shelf. Okay. okay, good job, Ethan. Let's all try to be good library customers like Ethan. the book that you want to check out you will come to the checkout desk and we still have Miss Iris she's back with us again this year she's going to be checking out your books for you and you'll see Jacqueline show them how you're going to do your library card and your book and you'll see that Jacqueline has her library card and her book ready for Miss Irish to check out and you'll see the lines here and the lines here Okay, and notice the good manners that Jacqueline used. She's a good library customer too.